Hey y'all, my name is Allie Merwin and I am the owner of Stardust by Allie. Um, if you're new to this channel, I just started it like a month ago and I barely posted, but I promise I'm going to try posting more. Just let me know what type of videos you want to see. And sorry, it's been like a very chaotic transition um, into moving to this new space. And then I moved out of my apartment and um, got a camper van. So it's been a lot of change, but I know that a lot of people have been asking about my barcode system that I use to track my inventory um, because one of the big products that I have in my store are surprise boxes, which is exactly what it sounds like. You uh, purchase either 30, 60, or $100 surprise box and I choose random stuff from our store to put in that box and you get it for a really great discount. So when I do surprise boxes, it I used to do it manually and it was such a huge hassle to go into my store every time I had a surprise box and manually take out inventory from each separate product. So I developed a way that would help me out with my surprise boxes so that I could just scan different barcodes when I am fulfilling surprise box orders and it'll automatically take out that inventory. So I'm going to share that with y'all and give you all the tips and tricks on it and I'm going to link down below all of the items that I use. Most of them I did purchase from Amazon. And I'll also link like the software I use and everything. So as you will see, I don't know if you can see from all the way back there, but I have got barcodes on this pegboard for all of my wristlets and phone charms and wallets and everything like that. So everything in my store has a barcode because like I said, anything in my store can be used in the surprise box. So I want to make sure that it's easy um, since we do get a lot of surprise box orders to just hammer them out and get the inventory correct because there's nothing worse than overselling an item and having to email a customer. It is so sad. I have a bunch of new products in my store that I just recently unboxed. So I thought, what a perfect time to show you guys exactly how I do this barcode system. In order to do this, you're going to need to utilize two different apps on Shopify. Also, I use Shopify. That's also an important note. These apps might be on other platforms like Wix and stuff as well, but just to let you know, I use Shopify, so these apps are on Shopify. First thing that you're going to need to do is to actually create the barcodes because um, there's a barcode software that actually creates the barcodes, and then there's the scanning software that its only purpose is to scan the barcodes and fix the inventory. But so far I haven't found an app that does all in one, so you'll have to utilize two different apps. But it's retail barcode labels, and then the scanning app that I use is called Quick Scan, but we'll get into that in a second. First important step is to create the barcodes. So up here you're going to click create barcodes, and if you are um, wanting to just create barcodes for your entire shop right then and there, then you can select create barcodes for all products, but uh, I'm just going to do select products because mine, um, I'm just putting in new inventory that I just got into the shop. I'm going to do my pouches. So we just recently got a bunch of pouches and duffels and all the things in our shop. So I am going to find them. And the one thing I don't love about this app is that like I typed in pouch and it literally is pulling up so many random things like hoodies. It doesn't do a great job of selecting um, like the, the, what you're really trying to find. Um, but that's okay. We'll forgive it. But I'm going to go through and figure out what I'm trying to get. So I'm trying to get the large nylon pouches, the medium nylon pouches, then I've got small somewhere in here. And then I also need duffels. So I'm going to click add, create barcodes for only product variants that don't have barcodes yet or replace any existing ones. I always opt to replace any existing ones because I'm printing them all out as new ones. I just replace them so that if there were any pre-existing, they're not going to be incorrect when I print a new one. Does that make sense? I don't know, but replace barcodes. Then it's going to say barcodes are being created up at the top. And then I'm going to go to print labels. So it tells you when they've been created. So then you can click print labels. And unfortunately you have to go back and do the whole thing where you go and find the products. I, I don't love that about this. I wish that you could just create them and print them at the same time. Uh, cause you kind of have to do this process twice. Plus you have to go through all the variations as well. Um, but let me go find, we've got, so it'll tell you um, all of your variations. So we can see all of these ones um, down here. Then those were our small ones. So let me find the medium and the large, which are right here. So yeah, there are definitely some, um, and then I'll go find the duffel, some little kinks that I wish could be improved, but maybe in the future they will be. So anyways, I just added all those, and then it's going to show you all of your variations. So 
Another thing that I wish you could do is, if you'll see here, it says set number of labels to match items in stock, but I don't want to print 19 labels of mint, 18 labels of blue. Like, I don't want, to, if that was a storefront, then I would definitely want to because we'd be putting those on the actual products. But how I set up my office area is that I just have the barcode right under the item, and it's one barcode. Even if I have like 20, sky blue duffels i only have one barcode that i'll scan um rather than putting 20 individual barcodes on each sky blue duffel so that's how i do it since i'm not in a storefront so i wish that instead of like i wish i could just say i want one of each but i have to manually go in and say one of each which kind of stinks um but that's okay so there's also a thing called label templates. So you're gonna wanna create this before you get to this step. Sorry, that was bad explaining on my part. Um, but I've got a bunch of different um, sizes. So this is basically just the size that your label is gonna be. So I have two inch by one inch labels, but then I also have this full page one that I'll show you like for my patches. Um, I don't, if you'll see here, I have these little um, holders. These are specific types of pegboard holders and they're quite expensive. So I don't have them for every item. Like I have so many different patches and everything right here. Um, and when I move into a bigger space, I will probably invest in getting a ton more of these just so that I can have the barcode right above every single patch. But for now, I just have um, like sheets of paper like this that have each, so like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all the letters of the alphabet in whatever color. Um, so if I do put a patch in a surprise box, I just scan this sheet of paper. Like I said, it's not my favorite thing, but it's what I'm working with right now. And then in the future, I'll probably get um, barcode holders for all of the patches. So that is something you can do if you just want it all on a full page and you don't have stickers or labels to put on and you just want to put it on a page and then scan it that way. But we are going to do the two by one inch label. And again, like I said, I'm gonna to have to go into all of these and put one because I only want one label for each. And this doesn't have too many variations, so it's not too much of a hassle. But this is all of the things that I wanna print right now. So then I'll click print 26 labels and it'll come up with all of these labels. So next step is to print them. And I right now have shipping labels in my printer. I have a Moonbin printer, it's a thermal printer, it's great. Uh, there are definitely some kinks here and there. Sometimes it stops working, but that's technology for you. But I'm gonna go ahead and install my little rolls. I believe I got these from Amazon um, and they're just two by one rolls. So then we're gonna go over to two by one and it automatically puts, flips the orientation, which is nice. So then I'm just gonna click print and you'll see it's gonna start printing all of my labels. Like I said, what I like to do is just go through all of my shelves and put the labels right underneath them. So I'll show you me doing that. Large nylon pouches in mint and our large pouches are over here. So mint, then large nylon patches in, pouches in sky blue, light pink, Y'all kind of get the gist. I'll make this clip faster and you can see me doing it in fast time. I wish I could move that quickly in everyday life. All right, so we did that successfully. So now we have a step number two. So we've gotten the barcodes um, printed and put where they need to be, but how do we scan them and how do we actually set up the inventory system? So then you're gonna go over to Handy Dandy Quick Scan, which I believe I pay $5 a month for this, uh, which I think is well worth it. Up here you can see that you can increase, decrease, show quantity, set quantity, and shift into different locations. A lot of times what I'll do when I am doing surprise boxes is I will um, click show quantity and I'll go around and scan a bunch of different items to kind of see which one would work best in a surprise box, which one are we not too low in stock of that it may have already sold out. The cool thing about this is once you do the barcode system, um, there's not too much setup with this. So uh, really the thing that you'll be figuring out is the scanner. So I got the scanner from Amazon. I bedazzled it. It did not come already bedazzled. It took me about three hours to do this. So do it at your own risk. 
but you get the stand, the scanner, and then you get this dongle. Ladies and gentlemen, if you listen to nothing else in this video except for this, please, please, please do not lose this. This is the only way that your scanner is going to work. Um, this plugs right into your computer and it allows you to scan stuff wirelessly. Now you can get these that have a cord um, and then you don't have to like recharge it, but I did not want to do that because I knew that I'd be walking around everywhere scanning things and if you are, um, if you have a cord, you are limited to how far you can go. Big recommendation would be to go wireless, but do not lose this because it plugs right into your computer and then you can do this wirelessly. All you do to set this part up at this point is I've got a little converter. Now I wish this was a USB-C dongle because uh, then I wouldn't have to convert it or put it into a converter, but I put it in here and then um, when your uh, scanner is on, that's the sound it'll make. You do have to be on this page when you are scanning items and you also need to click right here where it says barcode um, and start like typing. Um, so not start typing, but like click there so that it senses that you're about to put input numbers um, or else it will not scan. So make sure that is selected and then literally you just go over and scan something and it'll tell you how much you have in stock. If for any reason I did need to decrease by four, I could say four and then go scan over here and you'll see it took four out of inventory. So that's super cool. And then I wanna increase four to bring it back to its original quantity. And it brought it back to its original quantity. So that is pretty much it. That is how I do this inventory uh, management system. It has really saved a lot of time when I'm doing surprise boxes and I'm super, super grateful for that. Hope it all made sense. But if you guys have any questions or anything, then comment them down below and make sure you guys follow me on TikTok and everything because um, I post a lot more on TikTok than YouTube right now. So it's Stardust by Ali and Minnie Merwin, my personal TikTok. Um, and we do live streams a ton packaging y'all's orders. So if you um, have found me through YouTube and didn't know we are uh, always on TikTok, then go check us out there and you can order and we'll probably package your order on live. So it's a lot of fun, but thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you have any other questions, leave them down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone. Have a great day.